is awake! Shield the castle! Now! Greetings, my friends, and welcome to my home, the Sanctum Sanctorum. I realize an aging townhouse in Greenwich Village doesn't quite match the opulence of Stark Tower, but I think you'll find it comfortable. The rest of our team has already moved in. I would suggest you talk to Colonel Fury first. He has information concerning our next mission. By your command. Team, welcome to our new headquarters, the home of Dr. Stephen Strange. We moved because now that Loki's involved, we're gonna need magic. And there's no better place on Earth for magic than the Sanctum Sanctorum. Professor Xavier has located one of his X-Men in Dr. Doom's castle. That means Latveria is your next stop. For more info, talk to Black Widow. You're free to explore your new HQ, but when you're ready to start the mission, use the Orb of Teleportation near Wong. The Masters of Evil recently abducted two of my X-Men, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Colonel Fury has placed a priority on saving them. Apparently, he feels that by locating the wayward X-Men, you will also uncover the headquarters of the Masters of Evil. Yes, with the aid of Cerebro, I've discovered Nightcrawler is in Latveria. Nightcrawler's location really comes as no surprise, although I must admit I'm puzzled as to why Jean isn't with him. But there's no time to hesitate. To get to Latveria, use Doctor Strange's Orb of Teleportation. It will send you there instantly. This is an uplink beast created, so that I can access all of Cerebro's functions, even though I'm miles away. It's a large device located in the sub-basement of the X-Mansion. I use it to locate mutants around the world. No but it can be dangerous to the untrained mind. That's why I will only allow the most experienced of telepaths to use it. Jean Grey and Emma Frost are both quite skilled at working with Cerebro. His real name is Kurt Wagner, and he's perhaps the kindest soul I've ever met. Hailing from Germany, he is devoutly religious, despite his somewhat devilish appearance. Oh yes, he's been with the team for years. His mutant ability to teleport has saved the X-Men hundreds of times. Jean is quite a talented telepath, and very powerful at telekinetics, more so than she realizes. And that power carries a grave danger. If she expends too much energy, 
there is a chance her personality will be consumed by the Phoenix. The Phoenix is a malevolent entity capable of great destruction. Of course, come back any time. I wonder if I could impose on you to locate the book entitled A History of the Arcane. Wong said it would be located somewhere in this house. Latveria is a tiny country in Europe, located near Hungary. It's a haven for gypsies, one of the few people Dr. Doom takes an interest in. Surprisingly well. There's virtually no crime because the country is patrolled by an army of robots. And thanks to Doom's genius in weaponry, Latveria is considered by many to be a superpower. You're welcome. Greetings, humans. I am Clea, Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension and friend to Doctor Strange. Yes, but be wary. This is where Doctor Strange stores arcane objects. Most are harmless, but some could prove quite dangerous. Hey, that name you gave me, C.B. Sobolski, was perfect. Yeah, he said all I need was a shield security module. Would you mind talking to the Vision? I bet he has one. Certainly. Ah, you found the book. Thank you. This should help improve my knowledge of the mystical realm. He's the son of Lothi, king of the frost giants. Odin took the infant Loki as his own son after defeating Lothi in battle. Yes. But as the two boys grew, so did Loki's hatred of Thor and his desire to rule Asgard. The one for accessing shield data? Yes, I still have it. I suppose there's no harm in that. You're welcome. Yes. Well, what have we here? Oh, a brand new XJ9 shield security module. Sweet. Now I can do some serious hacking. Do you honestly think any of you can hide from a super hacker like me? 
There is nowhere on Earth you can go that I can't track you down. Actually, Deadpool told me. Well, I climbed up a drain pipe and crawled in through a window. Then, a plant tried to eat me, and, and some tentacles tried to drag me into another dimension. Just wait till you get my bill. Ha, <laughs> you can thank me later. With cash. Hello. How are you? You mean because of the laptop we found on the helicarrier? No. It's impossible. Black Widow is a lot of things, but she's not a traitor. I know, because I fought beside her, and I've been romantically involved with her. And on a more practical side, she doesn't act like she's lying. A person's heart rate changes when they lie, and Natasha's heart is steady as ever. She has to be telling the truth. Yes. That's one of the side effects of having radioactive waste dumped on me as a kid. It blinded me, but it also heightened my other senses. I now have a radar-like ability to give me a mental picture of my surroundings. That was because a martial artist named Stick trained me how to use my new abilities. Oddly enough, Stick's also blind. Anytime. Hi, how are you? Oh, you must have seen how Jarvis reacted to me at Stark Tower. It's a pheromone thing. I'm still learning how to control it. Yes. You see, I transmit a chemical that makes men very attracted to me. It gets a lot worse when I'm under stress, like during battle. None whatsoever. I'm not his sister, I'm not his cousin he gave blood to, and his powers were never accidentally transferred to me. Well... He is cute, in a geeky sort of way. But with his sense of humor, I prefer to keep my distance. Mostly because I have enhanced strength and can stick to walls, like the Web Slinger. But also I have the power to generate bioelectric venom blasts. No. He also hasn't had the training in hand-to-hand -hand combat that I've had. It was my pleasure. Humans, I would warn you, dark magic is stalking this house, waiting to pounce like a wolf in the night. Doctor Strange's most powerful enemy, Baron Mordo. My name is Clea. I am the Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension. Yes, we are quite well acquainted. Years back, Stephen brought me to Earth and I became his student. Once I had learned all I could, I returned to my dimension to free it from the corrupt rule of my mother. All I can tell you is, this house, the Sanctum Sanctorum, is the focal point of an immense evil energy. That is what most concerns me. It is happening now, even as we speak. Like a menacing vulture, it hovers waiting to strike. A vile, dark sorcerer who has long been a rival of Stevens. 
And though he has great inborn magical powers, Mordo is no match for the mystical might of Doctor Strange. Long ago, Mordo pretended to be a student of the Ancient One, all the time plotting to take his power. Stephen discovered Mordo's deception and attempted to warn the Ancient One. Of course. Greetings. I trust you have spoken with Clea about the dark magic she senses? I now sense it as well. It is difficult to tell. The magic waits like a creature on the hunt. It lurks in the dark, waiting for its moment to pounce. I'm sorry. All I know for certain is that this dark magic is the work of my arch-nemesis, Baron Mordo. Long ago, I had been a doctor of surgery and injured my hands in a car accident. While searching for a cure, I met the Ancient One. Yes, but at the time his student was Baron Mordo. I discovered Mordo intended to steal the Ancient One's power, and I helped to stop him. Since then, Mordo and I have been bitter enemies. He grew up in the Himalayan mountains some 500 years ago. There he was trained in the mystic arts, but was ultimately forced to battle his treacherous master. The young man then dedicated his life to fighting dark magic and joined the Order of the Ancient Ones. He outlived his compatriots and feared he would die without finding an apprentice. Then he met me. You're quite welcome. Hey, did you see the Professor Xavier's here? With him on the case, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler are as good as free. Pfft, hey, come on. This is Professor Charles Xavier we're talking about. The guy's never wrong. If they'd been kidnapped by almost any other villain, I'd be fine. But this is Dr. Doom. He doesn't play nice. No, but the guy's super smart, and with brains like his, he's got all the superpowers he needs. <laughs> What's not to be proud of? Look at the people I work with. Cyclops, Beast, Colossus, Emma Frost. <laughs> They're all heavy hitters at the top of their game. Oh, he is one in a billion. Dignified, intelligent, and tough as nails when he has to be. He's the only one who could lead a group like the X-Men. I'm sure she had a perfectly good reason to be lugging that laptop around in the middle of a battle. Even if she was awfully close to Doom's troops. Look, she can't be guilty, okay? And you know why? Because she's really hot and I don't want her to be guilty. Be cool. Baron Mordo, I trust all is in order. Our guests will be arriving soon, and I would hate to be ill-prepared. You can rest assured, I have taken all the necessary steps. Ha! An infant could have cast better spells. 
The heroes have detected your magic and suspect something is afoot. They cannot possibly know the true meaning of the enchantments. I'd stake my life on it. Be careful what you wager. Loki, leave the good Baron alone. What does it matter if the heroes suspect? They will still be ensnared by the trap. For his sake, they'd best be. I'm taking a grave risk being associated with the masters of evil. Make no mistake, my friend. We all stand to lose much if we fail. Which is why I'm certain Baron Mordo will achieve success. But I would warn you, Baron. My faith only goes so far. Failure will not be tolerated, and the penalty will be most unpleasant. What of the mutant amplifier we stole from the Omega base? Does it work? Yes. Even better than I dare hope. But time is now a factor in our plans. Why is that? The mutant amplifier is quite destructive. If we do not move swiftly, the X-Man we kidnapped will die. Ooh, you surprise me, Dr. Doom. Why do you care for the health of the mutant? I don't. An early death would hinder our plans. But make no mistake, death for the X-Man is inevitable. know you're there. Watch yourselves. There could be a trap around any corner. And remember, your primary mission is to retrieve Nightcrawler and Jean Grey. Once they're safe, find out whatever you can about the Masters of Evil's next move. On a side note, Senator Kelly was abducted in the middle of the night. The really odd thing is, a jack-in-the-box was left in his place. I have no idea, but keep your eyes open and see if you can find any information on the Senator's location. Remain near me. Got it.
not wander off. Of course. Suppose Professor Xavier sent you to save me. Well, he shouldn't have bothered. I am very different. For the first time in my life, I'm free. Free to use my powers without being restrained by Xavier and all the rest of you. He told me you'd say something like that. And he also told me the truth. He said you fear me because I'm more powerful than any of you! Liar! Everyone has tried to stop me from exploring just how powerful I am. Well, I think it's about time I found out. Don't you? with you later. <laughs> Hello, heroes. This is your old buddy, Arcade. I hope you're ready for a fun-filled day at Murder World, because I've got some killer events lined up. I know you've been running yourselves ragged trying to stop Dr. Doom. So I spoke to Baron Mordo. He was able to divert your teleportation spell to my little land of fun and assassination. See how tense you are? This little vacation is just what you need. And remember, no one ever leaves Murder World unhappy, because no one ever leaves Murder World alive! <laughs> right.
I know you. You're Storm, one of the X-Men. So it's finally come to this, eh? You mutants have stooped to kidnapping. We did not kidnap you, Senator. An assassin named Arcade did. Don't try to fool me. I know you staged this just so I'd be grateful to you. Senator, why would I waste my time trying to change the opinion of a narrow-minded zealot like you? Because I'm powerful, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to keep mutants in their place. I'm well aware of what you're willing to do to control mutants, but since you don't trust me, feel free to leave on your own. I would warn you, though, this place is called Murder World for a reason. I'm not about to wander around here unprotected. I'd be dead inside of ten minutes. Then why don't you hide in a safe place while we try to find a way out? I'll send a shield team to get you once the danger is over. That sounds reasonable. But you better send that shield team, or so help me you live to regret it. Jean, you have to stop. Somehow Arcade is controlling you, forcing you to attack us. But I don't want to stop, Sue, don't you see? I want to use my powers to their fullest, to destroy everyone who lied to me and tried to keep me helpless. You don't mean that. You're a kind and gentle person who believes in helping, not hurting. The new me is all about causing pain. That's not true. Arcade must be using some type of machine to control your mind. He's just using you to hurt us. Then Arcade won't be disappointed, because that's exactly what I plan on doing. Yeah, yeah. You'd kill them? Oh well. You still have your uses. Temper temper! That's no way to enjoy your day at the park. Why don't you test your video game skills and see if you can save your friend? But watch out. There's going to be a few pitfalls along the way.
Wolverine, I just had the strangest dream. I was trying to kill you at a carnival. Look around, Red. It was no dream. Somehow that nutball arcade was controlling you. Are you all right now? Other than a few bumps and bruises, I'm fine. I hate to rush you, but have you got any idea where they're keeping Nightcrawler? The last time I saw Kurt, Dr. Doom had him hooked up to some kind of power amplifier. That must be that mutant amplifier they swipe from the Omega base. I do remember Arcade was there with Doom. If you can find Arcade, I'm sure he can tell you where Nightcrawler is. Sounds like a plan, Genie. You stay here and rest up. We're gonna track down Arcade and have a few laughs with him.